the Eastern Partnership Summit has attracted its fair share of attention. It's brought together leaders from all across Europe. Now, the main aim of the summit is to provide a framework which will benefit the ordinary citizens in Eastern Europe, including Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia. The framework will focus on four key areas, economy, governance, society and energy efficiency. After much debate, the anticipated deal has been signed between the EU and its partners in Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Moldova, Georgia and Ukraine. The new joint declaration has new and somewhat ambitious targets. According to the document, the security of energy supplies will be increased through gas and electricity interconnectivity among partner countries. This includes modernizing the Ukrainian gas transmission system and storage facilities, making the strategic gas corridor operational and extending it towards Central Asia. I'm very much on the side uh, of uh, Mr. Juncker, uh, who tries uh, to avoid a gas monopoly uh, in the hands uh, of uh, Russian companies in Europe. Because this then is also a security issue. It's not only an economic issue, it's a security issue for not only Ukraine, it's also a security issue for Europe, but for the whole of Europe. EU officials have been clear that the Eastern Partnership Summit is not another step for Ukraine towards EU membership. Even leading up to the conference, the prospects for joining the European Union has been a contentious issue, hotly debated by Ukrainian officials and EU leaders. Kiev has been keen on obtaining clear guarantees for the prospect of EU accession. I would prefer that the wording of the declaration were more ambitious. But we all decided that the demonstration of our unity is the most important objective. Not only Ukraine has to fulfill its obligations taken before the European Union, but also the European Union must finally fulfill its obligations before Ukraine. We used to say this during the process of ratification of the association agreement. We used to say this when granting of the visa-free regime was postponed so much that some of our journalists lost hope and used it as a trolling point against the Ukrainian side, but eventually it did happen. Russia's hybrid war in eastern Ukraine and destabilizing actions in the regions also featured prominently on the summit's agenda. One of the strongest statements heard at the summit was from British Prime Minister Theresa May. She warned Europe that it must be, quote, opened-eyed to the threat from Russia. The summit uh, here today is all about taking stock and about looking ahead to see how we can tackle the shared challenges together, both in security and development. Um, we must be open-eyed about the actions of hostile states like Russia, who threaten the potential growth of the eastern neighbourhood and who try to tear our collective strength apart. Uh, and I'm looking forward today to renewed commitments from European countries to working together to tackle these shared challenges in both security and development. For ETV, this is Tamara Rosevin and Anton Kunisa in Brussels.